All right, I'm ready to create my next abomination, Todd. I'm really tired and don't have any ideas, though. How are you tired? You are literally a disembodied clone of Todd Howard that is basically a computer. Just do whatever. All right. Street Fighter 3 Third Strike is my favorite fighting game of all time, despite me being dog-ass at it. And, even though I have more time in other fighting games, it still holds the number one place firmly. But, unlike a lot of people who claim Third Strike is one of the best fighting games ever, like myself, I firmly believe it has a lot of problems that just drag it down from being the perfect experience for me. And, as a Guilty Gear veteran, I can legally talk about fighting games, so you know my opinion is top-notch. Let's ease into this with something relatively minor. Third Strike has some pretty good stages, namely France, Germany, and both versions of America. But they're vastly outshined by the black sheep of the Street Fighter, not you, get the fuck out. They're vastly outshined by the black sheep of the Street Fighter franchise, New Generation, and Second Impact, or Giant Attack outside of America. I mean, holy shit, are you seeing this? Every single stage in New Gen and Second Impact are immaculate and just... Mwah, chef's kiss. <laughs> Baphael already made a great video on why Sean is so bad in Third Strike, and also made a great video on why he's top tier in Second Impact and New Generation, but let me give you the rundown. His normals aren't bad per se, but there are three better Shotos that have almost the same normals that can do way, way more. For example, Ken's low forward starts up a frame faster than Ryu's, but Ryu's low forward recovers a frame faster. Sean takes the worst from both worlds, having Ryu's slower startup and Ken's slower recovery. This can be found all across Sean's move list, immediately making him worse than the other three shadows. Sean's target combo is strong into Roundhouse, however you can only cancel it into Super 3, and only Super 3, on Standing Makoto and Crouching Ibuki. This leads into the next very big problem with Sean, his god-awful specials. Half circle forward punch does a dash where Sean is very close to the ground, and if you hold it, he does a grab that does a decent amount of damage and stun. However, even the fastest light version can't cancel from anything. Not only that, it is super easy to avoid as Sean doesn't move much faster than doing a forward dash. Not only that, it's a blockable grab. And not only that, it's minus 14 on block. Not only that, Sean recovers crouching, and if you didn't know, you take more damage while crouching in third strike. Which means if your opponent has super, be prepared to say bye-bye to one-third of your health bar. Quarter circle forward kick is an overhead wheel kick that has high stun, but you can't combo into it again. It could be used as an anti-air, but the startup is so long that you would have to predict the opponent's jump before they do it. The startup is also so long that it is reactable and punishable. It's also just one parry, with the same timing every single time you do it. Tornado is Sean's Tatsu, but it doesn't knock down, it recovers point blank, and all versions can be punished even on a hit. So, if you're not either anticipating a parry or blocking, you're fucked. Even worse, it forces a stand on crouching opponents, and, as I previously said, you do more damage on crouching opponents, meaning it does less damage than it really should. And guess what? It's his most reliable special to cancel into. A special that is useless if not in the X move, and is punishable on hit, is his most reliable special. His DP is garbage too, it has no horizontal range, is even more minus unblock than the other Shoto's, and doesn't work on many of his staple combos, and he can be thrown out of it. This especially sucks because it's his only special that he can super cancel into. Speaking of which, his supers are mediocre as fuck. His super one is probably the best super, it doesn't cost that much, and it sucks three bars. But it's one fucking parry. Do I have to explain to you how dumb that is? You can negate his entire super just by pressing forward with the same timing as literally every other fireball in the game. Super 2 is just like Henry Dudley's Super 1, but it has less range. I don't know what I was expecting. Super 3 is also decent on paper. It hits hard, has decent damage, but it is only one bar. This is bad because Sean relies super heavily on meter to do EX moves, so losing a super just so you can play Sean how he needs to be played is abysmal. Alright, I'm done. Fuck off, Sean.
12 also has very similar problems to Sean. And while his unique normals are straight up better than Sean's, they can still be punished super easily. 12 is unique because he has an air dash mechanic, which is super interesting and cool, but it leads to like no damage. Which is another problem with 12, he doesn't do much damage. He doesn't have many combos that apply in so many situations, so he has to constantly rely on outsmarting his opponent. Which would be good, as his fireball is quite large and can hit at three different ranges. Too bad his recovery for full screen fireball is so slow that he can be punished by Chun Li. Axe, in theory, is a good anti air, but is pretty mediocre without meter, and the air version lasts so long it can be easily punished. DRA is just bad. Minus 11 on block, neutral on hit, and only plus 2 on crouching hit, so. His supers are the same thing. XNDL never does the full combo with Chun, can be easily punished at full screen. X flat is just bad. Crazy long startup can be easily read, easily blocked, leaves you at minus 26 when blocked. His best super is Super 3, where he literally turns into someone else he can play as. I actually think 12 is a really fun and interesting character, and if he didn't have all the problems he has, he would probably be one of my favorites. Sean, on the other hand, makes him want to never play a Capcom game ever again. I want you to take a look at these tier lists again. Do you notice anything? No. Four other characters towards the top that go by the names of Chun-Li, Yun, Dudley, and Ken. Chun-Li is the best character in this game. Why does she get so many good normals? Why can she super jump cancel her super 2, leading to more damage? Why can Yun do this shit? Why is Ken? I'm actually kind of fine with Deadly. All of the top tier characters have really good normals and one really good super, but instead of nerfing those characters, the weaker characters should get buffs. This would mutilate the top tier characters for those who play them and make people who play the lower tier characters more able to hold on their own. Also, let's be honest, being able to gain super meter by mashing heavy punch or heavy kick is dumb and we all know it. No matter how much parrying was reworked from Second Impact in your generation, it is still really janky and super dumb. For those in the back, you parry by pressing forward for high or aerial attacks and down forward for low attacks. In my opinion, this is not the best input method for this. However, I wouldn't want to get rid of parries. Not only is it visually cool, but the devs originally added it for a purpose, to fix how broken fireballs were in Street Fighter 2 and the Alpha games. Mm -hmm. Despite me being bad at them, I think parries are a very sound mechanic. So, what would be my method for fixing it? I know you're all not asking at all. Two punch for high parry, two kick for low parry. Not only would this fix getting accidental parries, I think this would increase the skill gap needed to parry well while also still being easy enough and accessible to new players. Despite my feelings towards Street Fighter V, I think they got parrying down with characters like Ryu and Gills super well. In my opinion, it should be a committal animation that is punishable if you read wrong. God, I'm gonna get fucking pinned to a cross for saying this shit. As my favorite fighting game ever, I think Third Strike is an amazing and super fun game, but there are serious fundamental flaws that I think a lot of people who also hold this game in high regards often overlook. Which, honestly, I understand. It can be hard to admit that something you think is the best or perfect in your eyes has some serious flaws. Maybe someday we'll get a Fourth Strike, but for now we can only really hope and dream. But Capcom, if you do make a force strike, please, please, please give Wars back his fourth throw. I am fucking bad.